Should the Astros be stripped of their title? Yes, they should. The title is illegitimate. I would encourage everybody in America to go to the Los Angeles Times and read Bill Plaschke, uh, the great Bill Plaschke's mm -hmm. uh, column uh, in today's Los Angeles Times. He is absolutely positively right on the money. Uh, they should be stripped of their World Series crown. Uh, the owner was right, Mr. Crane was right, rather, to fire Hinch and Lunau. Uh, how do you pronounce his name? Lunau? Lunau, I Lunau, think, yeah. Lunau, uh, the general manager. He, he was right to fire them both, and it shouldn't stop there. Allow me to explain, Max. Tipping signs yeah. is one thing. Installing technology mm -hmm. to steal it is a different level. It's premeditation. Now, yesterday on my radio show, when I heard that Major League Baseball suspended Inch and, and, and Lunau, I was like, oh, please. You know, you've been stealing signs. I mean, there's always nonsense mm -hmm. going on in the sport of baseball. It's a complete overreaction. And the fact that they announced it at 3 o'clock in the afternoon before the national championship game, you were hoping it would fly under the rug. That was my initial thinking, all right? News but I didn't know all of these details. I didn't know all of these details. Uh, you know, you got a camera coming out of center field that, you know, the center field feed where you can literally see the field and what have you. And then you've got a, a literally a screen at the dugout and then you're banging on a garbage can to tip players off. Excuse me. You know what that means? That means the manager was aware of it. That means the bench coach was probably aware of it. The players certainly were aware of it. They were in on it. Because they obviously knew what the hell was being tipped off. I totally agree with Bill Plasky. You know, 18, we're talking about Kershaw here, Brandon Morrow here, you Darvish. I was at game six and seven of that World Series with my boy Jeff Brown. We were sitting in the stands, and I'm sitting there going like this, what? All of a sudden, this man can't get anybody out? What the hell's going on here? Okay, before that in Houston, you're talking about 18 runs, 26 hits, six home runs surrendered by a Dodgers squad, a rotation that was considered rife with aces. And suddenly, you know what? They can't get anybody out. It made absolutely no sense whatsoever. But now we learn this. And so for me, it is completely apropos that the manager and the GM was fired. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have a problem, Max, if the Red Sox turn around and fired Alex Cora. Why? Because he was the bench coach in Houston. The next year, he was in Boston. Not only did they win the World Series, but there was an investigation going on in regards to some cheating involving the Boston Red Sox. Carlos Beltran was also on that Astro squad, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. He's the new manager for the New York Mets. We don't know what role he played, but if I'm the New York Mets, I would definitely have a no zero, a, 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 you know, a zero tolerance policy implement it immediately where he is concerned this is cheating there is no question now i'm the person that i'm sitting there with the patriots like max i'm like oh please do you have any evidence right do you have any proof yeah. do you know definitively that bill belichick oh no that's not the same here ladies and gentlemen major league baseball says oh yes there is proof we have the evidence and the evidence was so profound that the an hour one hour after the major league baseball's ruling came down those dudes were fired that's evidence i'm sorry you take away that crown from the houston no, astros you and what. you investigate taking away the crown for the boston red sox in 18. if if alex when, cora if alex cora of course when, was found to be well i'm always for yeah. taking away boston anything from boston but when I mean, even I'm saying no if I just don't want we vacate all the like Patriots. Cheaters I just don't. And, I just don't. Boston Celtics, Celtics, Max, I just don't yeah. want people to think. Yeah, listen, yeah. I don't know what Alex took, but if it's found, right? If it's found, of course. Yes, yes. I disagree. Right. I came right. out and said yeah. when this scandal first broke, as a Yankees fan, I feel like I want their title vacated. I know you can't do that, but that's how I feel. So I understand your feeling. I understand Bill Plaschke's feeling, who covers the Dodgers, obviously, mm -hmm. among other things, but. Look, and as a Yankees fan, I'll tell you something else. That's my number one team. Like, in the end, everyone has that. If you live in Chicago, the Bears are your number one, right? Then you like the Bulls or whoever, you mm -hmm. know, the White Sox or Cubs, whatever it is. If you live somewhere else, you know, the Lakers are number one in L.A. In New York City, for me, the Yankees, if I had to give up everything else, every other team I root for, I'm sticking with my Yankees. And the Yankees lost to the Red Sox, don't forget, last year, who may have cheated them out of it. And they lost to the 
Astros, Astros the, the year, year before. before. They may have been cheated Twice. out of the last two World Series. Yes. So all the Dodgers fans were like, oh, we should have won. Says who? Maybe the Yankees go in with those bats and clobber them. You don't know that. Well, the Dodgers have a right to say that, Max, because they were in the World Series. But so were the, the Yankees. I know, I were, the Yankees would have been in the World right. Series if it wasn't for the Astros. I understand that, but okay. the Astros were there. Okay. And they lost to but, those but, guys. Right, that in was the, World the Dodgers. Series. Yankees in consecutive seasons lose to the cheating team in the Astros and maybe the cheating so the team Dodgers. in the Red Sox. Yeah. Okay, right. I, and I want to show you something. Game one against the Astros, Yankees at, at, at Houston, Yankees lose two to one. This is going back to 17. Game two, they lose two to one. They're losing nail biters, squeakers, uh, you know, on the road. When they come home, they win eight, one, six, four, five, nothing. So without that advantage, what I what I really don't like about the way the Astros cheated, I don't care if you steal signs. You're supposed to be trying to steal signs. Code your signs better. But if you use technology that only you have access to, meditation, that, that, and there's no way to avoid it. Like if there's a camera on you from set, there's nothing you can do to hide your sign. At that point, that's beyond the pale. But you can't vacate the title. Stephen A., I think you should have an asterisk next to Barry Bonds' name for single season and all-time home runs because – in my view, he obviously cheated. Your forehead doesn't grow like that. You don't get that. Yeah, your, but he was a 30 and 30 ratio, guy before that, too. You, okay, but your home right. run that bat ratio no. doesn't double in your mid-late 30s. Same goes for McGuire. Same goes for Sammy Sosa. 73 home runs for Bonds. 70 for McGuire. 65 for McGuire. Bond, uh, Sosa had 66. Mm -hmm. I want to say 64. Yeah, but 60, Max. 60 or 3 or something. The point is... Those events occurred. I put an asterisk next to them. I consider Roger Maris a single-season home run champ, but you can't take back the home runs because right. they occurred. How many asterisks are we going to have uh, in baseball exactly. now? That's it's getting one. ridiculous. Number two, number two, here's why I profoundly disagree with your argument there. Because one could argue. I mean, it, it, I remember when Mike Schmidt, I had my show, quite frankly, on yeah. ESPN2, and I interviewed Mike Schmidt, and he was talking about, everybody talking about steroids. Amphetamines was the big thing. Everybody was using it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.